Well, the biggest what the Farage moment, uh, for me, perhaps in weeks, is Superman. We all know, don't we, Clark Kent, married to Lois Lane, the great superhero who goes out and, of course, wants to take on the enemy and save the world. And he is this big, masculine, alpha male figure are described by one of his filmmakers as one of the most heterosexual role models he'd ever seen. Well, on the endangered species list are alpha males. It's just, you're not allowed to be like that anymore. So we now have a new Superman, and it is indeed the son. It's John Kent. And John Kent uh, is coming out in DC Comics as being bisexual. Uh, that's just the beginning. But what he's also going to be doing is he's going to be fighting some different campaigns. Rather than taking on enemies that could destroy the world, no, he's going to do some rather different things. He'll be fighting against climate change. That's a very, very important part of what he'll be doing. And in particular, something that is incredibly political, he will be campaigning against the deportation of those who do not qualify as refugees and have entered America illegally. Now, that is all astonishing. But what really, really got to me was the author, Tom Taylor, who has written this new script, was asked whether his complete change of the character and the issues and battles that he fought on, he was asked what the reaction from the audience was. And he said, oh, many people, most people have been strongly supportive but, of course, there are a few trolls. Yes, if you don't agree with the new political Superman, if you don't agree with the campaigns that he's fighting, you are now effectively a troll, and this is how free speech gets attacked. And I don't like it one little bit.